Maybe that's eventually where Catholic priests would like fuck boys or something. But, you know, because I always say, I know, I don't have a problem with Catholic priests sleeping with boys. They're just a bit rushed. Why can't they wait until they grow up? You know, it's just, but, but I think it's actually in sacred spaces you find these, these oracles. Oracles were not available to, to general audience. It wasn't like you went up to the door. That would be like this there. You go up to somebody, pay a penny, and they would tell you yes or no. No, no, that's not an oracle at all. An oracle is something incredibly uncomfortable. And challenging to have around, but incredibly rewarding once you accepted it. So that would even be Zautar's base. We could call mm -hmm. it that. But beyond the Bard Absolute, not available to the public. For and the record, I, I do have problems with priests fucking boys. So <laughs> not that okay. I'm contention, but I do have problems. Do you have problems with boys fucking priests? So you said people that worship pedophiles like Michael Jackson. Is that why the Safety brothers? Put Michael Jackson in a cross and uncut gems. Is it is it like a big? It's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be interesting. Like, we, it's gonna be interesting. We finally have the Michael Jackson Renaissance because the Michael Jackson Renaissance is gonna. We're gonna be forced to revalue our values. Michael Jackson was wrongfully accused. Again. Michael Jackson never did anything wrong. Michael Jackson was never did anything wrong. No, I mean I'm not a moralist. Huh? <laughs> so I don't think uh, anybody does. Nobody's anything being wrong a moralist ever. here. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, ask Bard about this Ghislaine Maxwell and Epstein thing and their sex industry within top politics. And uh, so I'm curious about what you think about that. Then. Okay, so we become moralistic. We live in the, we live in the age of the church lady has gone online. Essentially, that's what's happening, right? So moralism everywhere. I would think that the Epstein-Maxwell relationship and whatever they were up to in the 1970s would have been considered completely normal and they would have been stars of Studio 54. But now suddenly they slept with some women who were below 18 years of age, a few of them, one apparently even only 40 years old. Uh, okay, and, and they had sex parties and things like that. And the whole world is upset about this because about rich people using and abusing trafficked young girls. I'm not sure that was the case. And what I do when I hear these stories is that I go to the girls and I ask them, what was the experience like? And not having them influenced by like, you know, propagandists, but actually talk to the girls themselves. And it turns out in most cases, you know, the girls had fun when they were young. They got paid for it sometimes and things like that. And they went on and got a proper education and were happy afterwards. It's, I know guys who started selling sex when they were 11 and I think it's the best decision they ever made. <laughs> they, they're actually, I finally got attention, you know, it's just like, and I got money.